Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 76 of Europa Universalis 4 as the Ottomans. Unfortunately at the moment we are in a Regency Council which is a bit of a pain. Uh, what have we got here? Lose piety, gain piety. Um, let's try and keep max piety at the moment. Now one thing that's annoying about being in a Regency Council, apart from the fact we can't declare wars, is that we can't even see who would join a war because we can't even click the declare wars button, which is quite annoying. Now I am looking at the Papal State. The Papal State only seems to be allied with Wurzenberg, and I'd be quite interested to actually take the Papal State out. Oh, almost clicked that accidentally there. Um... France has declared war on Austria, as they often do. France has declared war against Austria. This is a war that they have started. Austria is allied with Sweden, Alsace, Mainz, Munster, Trier, Wurzenberg, and Liège. I think we can manage that. It's not like we can really get involved into any more wars. So let's go ahead and accept. Of course, we are going to need to put our army maintenance right back up. So we will be making a little bit of a loss. We've got plenty of money in the bank. We don't have much manpower. So it's it's not my intention here... <clears throat> it's not my intention here to get involved in many battles. Uh, but more to just try and... Um, hold Austria back so they don't come in here and attack. What we may want to do is try and jump on a few of their forts just to get them out of the war. Now, we are losing a little bit of money, it seems. So, I think what we will do... And I don't usually do this, but I think in this instance, it might be a good idea. We are instantly going to go and... Um, if I can find where the button is now, because as usual, I've completely lost it. We're instantly going to go and raise war taxes, which will put us back in a positive. So, we've got a couple of generals up and around here. Um, that needs to be turned on as well. So what generals do we have? Why aren't you all leading armies and stuff and such? So we need generals in all of these. Were you the one that was over there? No, so we've got a few generals now. We've got a three-star general here. You can go and move around to there. I said, I just want to get some of these armies sort of up to the front, just so we've got some men to uh, protect. There are some other armies lying around. Now, what I was going to say is one thing that I, I did want to do is um, I actually wanted to be able to, and just thinking about it, got a lot of these armies down here. Probably not going to be at war with Spain for a little while. So let's get you over here and let's get this army up so we've got another stack of men up towards the front. We'll put you in Constantinople and we'll move you up to the front. And we can already see we've got a relatively sizable army coming straight in here. Um, first of all, let's go ahead and see if we can dodge that. Can we get out of there? We can. This is farmlands. Farmlands we don't want to be in. Um, can't if we get into the woods. We can't if we get in there. But if we go into Zagreb, we can get there in time. So let's go and march in there. And let's start moving the... Yeah, they still want to try and grab me here. So, um... Let's just try and force march as many stacks into Maghreb as we can. Or Zagreb. We're not even at full maintenance, which is a little bit of a problem. Uh, you're marching all the way through. If you're just going to march through, just go ahead and take that. They'll still have the numbers, even at, at this rate. If we can... If, if, well, why have you just suddenly stopped? You need to get in there as well. Um, if you could stop moving and you can get in there. We only need a couple of good battles against the uh, Austrian army. And we can potentially uh, halt their advance. We did actually win that. We threw enough men in to be able to uh, to deal with. Let's just get some of these men back out of here now. Because we don't want to end up with uh, massive amounts of attrition. So let's go ahead and just turn off the forced marching because you don't actually recover your morale when you're forced marching. So that's that'll slow Austria down a little bit. They are sieging over here, which is annoying. This is mainly um, Trier. It does seem to be myself that's getting the most of the uh, annoyance coming in from Austria. Where exactly do you think you're going? So this is actually wasteland. They can't cross through here. So you might as well actually stay here. What, I, what I'd probably be better off doing is just having a massive stack and just chasing the Austrian army down. 
that would probably make the most sense. I guess what we could do is literally just go and march a whole load of guys straight into Vienna. And just try and get their cap. I mean, I've lost Tyrrell here, but that's not so much of a problem. If we literally just go and sit in Vienna and take that as quickly as possible, Austria will probably come in here and try and stop that from happening. And we will be taking a fair bit of attrition, but that's fine. Let's just keep some of these units a little bit closer together. Again, you shouldn't have the force march on. So we've lost Tyrrell, which is a little bit of an issue. What we can do here, it's a little bit, bit cheeky doing this, but it often works. Just literally hire a mercenary, because they're quick, and then throw him in there to go and grab it back. So we've got a disease outbreak there, but we've got more than enough men to prevent any problems. So let's just go and move you over to Tyrrell. And you can take that back for us. I mean, they, they could and may well um, attempt to kill him off. And if, if they do, then they do. I'm not too bothered. But it's just nice when you can actually take it back. Now, we've got to watch out for um, Crimea. Because it's possible that Austria might go and attempt to attack Crimea. Crimea does only have a relatively small army. But we can certainly move in and grab another couple of provinces. More conversions we can do. Let's do some of the Coptic ones instead of going all out on the Catholics. Because we do want to avoid um, too many problems. There we go. So we've unseaged that. Let's get you back down to Dalmatia. And we'll just keep him around and use him to do that same thing over and over again. Um, local unrest. Now this is one province. Local unrest, reduce tax. Or we can get increased missionary strength for more expensive tech cost. Don't really want more expensive tech costs, so we'll leave it as is. Yeah, so they've got 73 stack there, but they are marching around Vienna here. They're not trying to get involved, which is good as far as I'm concerned. Crimea is getting some stuff sieged out. If we can just get a few forts, then we'll actually be quite good. Austria don't seem to have all that many forts now. See, Tyrrell's being sieged again, but that's uh, that's fine. Austria's army's sort of lurking around all over the place, but yeah, let's just let's just keep taking these provinces where we can. Uh, there's a few here that we can't easily get to, but we can get to them all the same. You're sending a two. I was going to say, why did you just suicide a two stack into a thirty-two stack? Uh, now, Sweden is involved in this war, but I haven't really seen much of them uh, recently. Now, you're probably not too safe there, are you? Right, we're being attacked over here, which is not unexpected. Let's force march you in as well. Looks like they're going for a really big reinforcement um, maneuver here. So I'm going to try and throw in as many men as I can get there in a reasonable amount of time. Now, they are going to reinforce. We're also going to reinforce, so this battle should go our way. A tree really going to throw in to this because they're not going to win. There we go, some cores done. And they did. They actually arrived after the other battle finished, so there's going to be two uh, losses there. So that was a massive blow to them. Again, let's get all this force marching off. Um, can't get all of these units out, but we can get some of them out. Let's get you down here. Let's keep the one with the general there and get you out of harm's way as well. But yeah, that does not work out well for Austria. We've lost Tyrrell again. Let's go ahead and move you... I don't know. They've got quite a few units around there, so they may decide to come in and try and attack. But in the meantime, we're definitely going to go and keep sieging out down here. We've almost got this fort anyway. Just depends where Austria is going to move their main army to. Once Vi uh, Vienna falls, though, we should be good. Now, I've actually got all of Austria set as special interest. So what should happen is France should at least give some of it to me. But yeah, when Vienna falls, that's going to be the important one. We'll recall our diplomat from France. That has fallen. Let's move you into Pest. This one hurries up and falls. Things will be going well, but we're still gaining money. 
Let's go ahead and see if we can unseage Tyrell, because that is our gold mine. We would like to have the money from that ourselves. Siege of Vienna is over. Let's go ahead and move in there. We can catch that little stack uh, out of position. And I guess we can... Let's just go and move the whole lot over here. I know it's causing us massive attrition, but I feel it's it's a little bit safer uh, keeping everyone together than splitting them up all over the place. But I mean, we can have a full siege on Austria quite quickly here. Might even move in here and just grab Lien. I'd like Lien, actually, because that'll sort of put our territory together. Now, there is a... I was going to say, someone was trying to attack over there. I don't know who or what. Uh, Crimea still seem to be safe. Do I have any hostile sieges going on? No. So we're still quite good there. So you're going to unsiege that. Um, yeah, big stack over here. Probably going to come and try and take Vienna back. This all belongs to Austria as well. You go over there and grab Lienz. We've got no progress over here, so I'm just going to march straight into Vienna and go and attempt to uh, catch Austria's main army there. We won't all arrive at the same time, unfortunately, but we should win the battle. We've got f superior stats all around, so let's go move back over there and, and siege that out. Um, who is that? Azuron. Azuron are up here getting stuff done. Well, good for them. Now then, you're, re you're retreating. You're moving in with a stack there, which is not going to end well for you. Right, we have actually managed to take this, so let's move there. Now, where's Austria's stack actually moving? Are you going to just move down into this province? You're moving into there, are you? Well, I appreciate the effort, but I'm going to go and reinforce that. Now then, we do still have the advantage in morale, tactics, and discipline. We do unfortunately have a terrain penalty. Which is a little bit annoying. Can we enforce this in any reasonable time? I'm guessing probably not. Left things a little bit later than I should have done. But we'll try and get over there anyway. Let's move you around to this side. Either way, they're not getting Vienna back. Now then, how is this battle going? It did actually go in my favour. So that is good. So instead of you force marching over there, you move into that province. Well, you can't get into that province. That's fine. Right, let's, uh, let's see if we can stop a few of these units from marching around. Keep the one there with the general. Move this one out of here. So Austria's army is going to get basically ping-ponged all over the place, really. Lose 50 Diplo power or lose 10 prestige. Well, we're at 100 prestige and we're at war, so we're probably going to earn quite a bit of that back. In the meantime, we're just going to sit around here. See, Austria's really trying to rebuild their army now. Austria got an absolute pasting in that battle. So they may try and take some of their provinces back, which is not really that big of an issue they are all trying to form up here in um in vienna though which makes me very much want to just go and jump in on top of them and wipe those stacks out now there is a big stack up there but that's okay they were considering moving out but they haven't quite decided if that's what they want to do let's move in there We've still got the, the numbers advantage anyway. Let's move you back out of there. Yeah, 90k stack is going to wipe them out really easily. You're backing out already. So let's go sit back on that. I could have maintained the siege, but it didn't really seem like there was much point to it. Their armies just don't know where they want to go right now. So we'll just keep trying to siege Austria out. They'll soon end up um, getting pieced out by France. Well... They're the primary war participant, really. But they'll they'll soon peace out, because they've got literally no war enthusiasm already. We're already at 26% war score. And as Austria is the primary war participant, taking out all of Austria's stuff is really going to sp um, speed up the war. Let's go and move you down there. 
Now then, can we get you in... Uh, well, you can't siege out the fort, I suppose, but can we get you in over there? Managed to do some more conversions, or at least one more conversion. Let's go ahead and do another Coptic one. We can invest in a new technology. It would be a military tech. Now, it would put us a little bit over on the in terms of military. So that would cause us some more corruption, but it would give us more infantry fire and more supply limits. So at the, at the cost of some corruption, we're going to have some more supply limit. And some better stats for our soldiers, which is always a good thing. I think we can afford to pull some of these troops back now, because we are, again, burning through our manpower at an alarming rate. Um, we don't have a general here. And I can't really get anyone over there to help. So we're just going to end up losing that mercenary, which is fine, because you don't actually lose um, war enthusiasm, or you don't get war exhaustion, I should say, for losing mercenaries, only your own men. Uh, we'll take the prestige hit, because I can't afford to lose the manpower. Let's go ahead and leave behind um, one stack that has no leader. And let's go and march the rest in over here. I appreciate you uh, trying to help there, um, Crimea, but you probably don't want to just jump straight in there. Right, are we going to catch them? Because you are going to move in there as well. So we will all get in there. We'll all arrive at different times again, as usual. Some of them did get away. But again, that was another victory for us. So let's move everybody back over there. We'll split these groups up as soon as we get some of these sieges down. They're trying to run siege a few things, but it's not forts that they're unsieging, so that's not a big problem. Uh, have war taxes ended already? Because we're not making money again. No, we can't raise war tax. I guess we're, we're trying to reinforce. Right, so let's get some of you guys moved out of here. And reduce this attrition. Just by having so many cannons in an area, though, it really speeds up the rate at which we can um, take the forts. So I'm just kind of leaving everybody all in, in one spot, really. And we're already out of manpower, but... It shouldn't be too bad. I don't know what France are actually doing. They don't appear to be getting much done. Although I guess, well, Scotland are taking care of Sweden, which is why we haven't seen anything of them uh, in this campaign. So I guess we could march through and grab a few of these provinces. Now this one's nearly done. 14% chance. Actually, this will probably go first because there's a 64% chance of this falling. Glad to see those conversions are going quite quickly. Let's get another Catholic one done. Come on, 64% chance. You've got to let me have it this tick. Got to let me have it. There we go. So we'll grab another unit and put them over here. And then the rest of you, we'll march you forwards and get you onto a fort. Even Scotland have got some units down here now. Right, we've won this siege. Fantastic. Let's get you guys out of there. I don't think I actually need to have um, these forts on now. Because let's be honest, it's not like Austria have actually got anywhere near them. And they're costing me quite a bit of money in maintenance. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn them off. And it's not like the AI pays any attention to zone of control anyway, so we might as well just save save the money where we can. So that has fallen. So you move up there. Now, we'll start to flip back until we actually get on the, the fort, and then that'll stop. So, let's move you down here, just so we've got a force that can react quickly if need be. Let's move you over here as well, actually, because you're one of our good generals. So, we'll have you guys sort of near the front, in case we need to reinforce quickly. Austria's still got quite a few provinces that haven't been sieged. There's a fort up here that France is working on. There's another fort just there. Uh, let's go into Lanshut. Although we do have to go sort of the long way round to get there, but 
That is okay. Okay, looks like the war has just... No, that's Alsace. Als Alsace has been pieced out. Uh, France has accepted peace with their former enemies, Alsace. Um, we get some prestige. That is fine. Liège has also been pieced out. Okay. Which is good for us because it means fewer troops wandering around. It also means that France is going to be more focused on the task at hand. Good luck with... Well, I'm going to wait until Austria's locked there. Which they now are. And then I'm going to march in with these guys. So we have our new leader. So we can gain some piety and some missionary strength. And we can reduce some national unrest. We can now declare wars. Which is also fantastic. What, uh, what stats does our new leader have? You are... Oh, you don't actually have your first personality trait yet. But you should get that at the end of this year. Ah, Tolerance of the True Faith minus two. Well, it wasn't a good one, was it? Did we expect it to be? The game does kind of like to uh, mess us around like that. Yeah, Austria doesn't really have anything left. So the rest of this war should be quite easy. Now, what my plan was originally going to be at the start of this video, before France suddenly decided to declare war on Austria, what I actually wanted to do was fabricate a claim against the Papal State so that we could have gone and took some land from them. Now, we don't have any manpower now, so that's going to make life a little bit difficult for that. However, I think we will... Oh, that's a lot of money to lose. But I guess we'll go ahead and do it. Um, however, I think we might still be able to pull it off. It shouldn't take us too long to recover our manpower. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here because we've gone over the 20-minute mark. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. And until then... Goodbye for now.